The Kansas Jayhawks are going on the road to BYU. The undefeated BYU Cougars, mind you. Uh, the Cougs are a three and a half point favorite, and the over under is set at 55 and a half. I've seen this line today, two and a half. I've seen it three and a half. Um, you know, uh, the, the the lines will meet somewhere in the middle there, um, probably around a field goal, right? Um, is is what the line's looking like. And Vegas is trying to tell us something, man, because they're saying this is a narrow spread on a large uh, on a large over under. So Vegas is saying that this game is, if not back and forth, it's going to be tightly contested till uh, going into the fourth quarter. And I think that a lot of that has to do with the fact that Kansas, first of all, I think Vegas wants to catch you betting on BYU because that's what this line does to you automatically. You see this line and you say, oh, give me BYU. They've been unstoppable. Kansas has been trash. They've won three games this year. But Kansas has won two out of three of their last – games and the game that they lost they were very very competitive with kansas state till the very end lost that game by two points the other two games that they won in that three that last three game stretch they've scored over 40 points in each one each of those games so you know too little too late sure for a bowl game or or something like that for kansas but it doesn't look like this team has quit and they're doing things offensively that we thought they would be able to do in the preseason, and that's get behind Devin Neal, who's he, he's met expectations this year. I mean, he's got like he's six yards a carry or something for the season. I mean, he, he's got he's had a nice season, um, but this offense has been troubled as far as turning the football over. I, I believe it was nine interceptions and and four fumbles given up this season, right? Um, so turnovers have just been a huge, huge issue for this Kansas team. But with them kind of finding a spark on offense here lately, this this game right here, if it doesn't have BYU folks concerned, I think it should a little bit. Um, now, here's the bugaboo that comes with Kansas. They've got the 81st total defense in the country. They're not particularly good at stopping anything. And that's been a trend under Lance Leipold for the last few years. Defensive lines have just not been very good for Kansas over the last couple of years, and that continues to be a trend. Um, so what, what team for Kansas shows up, right? Even in this three game stint that they've played, the defense still hasn't showed up. So I see where the big, the big over under comes from. I totally understand that. Um, BYU, let me, let's kind of talk them for just a second. Obviously undefeated, had some narrow victories. They've escaped with this season, 28th in total defense this season, 56 in total offense. So as we've said for the last few weeks, this is a well-rounded football team. They're just there's not really like one big dent right in any side of, of this automobile here. Uh, everything looks pretty good all the way around. Um, but like I said, man, the, last week we saw Utah be able to score 21 points in that game, you know, and and it was all in one quarter and it was in bunches or whatnot, however you want to put it. I think Kansas is able to muster more than 21 in this game, right? I think Kansas has got a much better offense than what Utah does. So who's to say that Kansas isn't able to score 27 points in this game and make this thing really, really close? Um, I think that's going to be the case. And I think BYU goes down this week, Mason. Um, I, I, I hate that you're saying that because I, I've got the same feeling. I, I'm, I feel like um, we did not talk about this before. We don't talk about no, our predictions before we get on no. air. So my bad. <laughs> no, and, and and this isn't even a game that we looked at until today. Um, and and you're just you're just looking at it. We talked about Kansas uh, in our top twenty five break uh, breakdown, I believe it was, or or maybe it was the the recap video that we did for for week eleven. But um, Kansas has found an identity on offense behind Devin Neal, a future NFL running back. They're they're not putting the ball in harm's way as much with Jalen Daniels. And to me, when you compare BYU and their defense that has been very opportunistic and relying heavily on interceptions, namely they're third in the country in interceptions, um, if, if, if Kansas is going to run the football a ton, you're not going to have those opportunities to get the ball back. Uh, to, to get those interceptions. I think outside of that, this is a, an average defense. This isn't a, a defense that blows you away, and they're actually not that good against the run. Um, Kansas's offense 
on um you know it runs at at uh 214 yards per game that's good for 13th in the country and the rush defense for BYU is sitting at 68th in the country so matchup wise I like B, uh, I, I like Kansas to be able to run the football and pass whenever you need to um and as long as Jalen Daniels doesn't turn the football over um I like them in this game you know if they're if, if they can get him less than 20 pass attempts. I, I think that that's kind of the number there that I'd like to see them be that effective at running the football that they don't need to throw the ball more than 20 times. Then I, I like Kansas in this matchup, which is not something I really thought I would be saying going into this matchup. But as we as we've done our breakdown, uh, I'm kind of coming to that realization. I, I think that uh, Vegas knows this, right? This this line is close enough because they want everybody betting on BYU. Um, and, and that they'll, they're probably going to make a killing off of this, but, uh, I'm telling our fans, at least if you're, if you're a bet, uh, a betting person, um, I'm not telling you to bet Kansas, but I'm telling you not to bet BYU for sure, because <laughs> this is a, this is a, this is a, uh, a, a, a smelly game, I think for BYU. Um, uh, it's going to be a tough one to swallow at home. Um, I've been saying for the past couple of weeks now that, you know, I'm kind of, kind of sniffing this one out uh BYU isn't isn't that great they're not that efficient uh but they're they're finding ways to win and that could very well be the case this week I'm not saying that there's no way they win this football game or anything like that but uh I really like Kansas in this one I, I think when when you look at you know the past few weeks they've been they've been putting up some pretty good numbers um you know, against Arizona State, they put up 30, did lose that football game, 31 to 35. Uh, and then going up against Houston, who leans on their defense heavily, they put up 42 points. It's a really strong offensive performance by them. Narrowly lost to Kansas State, 27 to 29 in a rivalry game. Uh, very close there. And then put up another 45 uh, on Iowa State. I like Kansas State's defense more than I like BYU's. So if, if they put up 27 against Kansas State, I, I like them for uh, at least 30, 35, 42, something like that against BYU. And I just don't see this BYU offense being able to um, overcome that sort of deficit. That's not the, the style of football they like to play. They want this thing to be dirty and played in the 20s. And I just I don't see I don't see Kansas in this offense with the way they're operating being held under 30 points in this one. Yeah, it'll be an interesting game. That's a ju juicy prediction there. We'll see how things go this week. If you're wanting to bet Kansas, I would say wait. Let that number run up and then bet Kansas. We'll see you on the Thursday betting show. And I think we'll probably each have a play on this one.